Hi guys, this is Dr. Sadashivam once again with you. Bhai, in the last video I have talked a lot about the banking sector, whether it's non-performing assets, uh, yeah, it is credit growth or it is NIMS which is net interest margins or uh, the loan book or their credit growth, credit costs. We have talked a lot about these parameters and these are some of the important metrics based on which we decide the performance of the bank, uh, the banking sector. So whenever you talk about banking sector, there are certain names that come to our minds. Of course, all the banks are doing well. Some of those banks are of course HDFC Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, State Bank of India, Axis Bank, these are some banks which always come to our Bank of Maroda. Today we're going to talk about State Bank of India and how will it perform? It's perform uh, in the in the short run will be and I will be sharing with you some of the views of Dinesh Khara. Dinesh Khara based on one of his interviews in CNBC and it was in uh, uh, you know, I will try to explain that in an understandable language. And before we start talking about that, SPI is one share which during COVID, that is March of 2020 to 20, it was selling at 150 rupees. And today, it has increased from 250 to 600 rupees. Which means it's already reached one five hundred fifty rupees, and most experts believe that in the next two or three weeks it will touch six hundred rupees. Which means literally in a period of two years it has become quadrupled four times. In the earlier video, I had explained a lot about this, especially about some of the uh, metrics, whether it is net interest margins, your credit growth, your loan book, your balance sheets, etc. We've talked a lot about that and across all these metrics, State Bank of India is performing extremely well and their NPAs have come down. Now Dinesh Kara Sahab shared certain important uh, uh, opinions with CNB which I would like to share with you and most of their a loan uh, is coming from the retail uh, sector and it's taking the bank on the path of profitability and they have enormous gamut of uh, loans like secured personal loans, mortgages, pension loans, auto loans, home loans, it's doing extremely well across all these verticals and in the short term he is very confident that because of festival seasons, you are Navaratra, you are Deepavali, now you know Dantir is marriage season and he expects the outlook of the bank to be very positive in the next three or four months. Even during the first quarter, he talks about 18% growth in the first quarter and not just about the retail sector guys, even as far as the corporate sector is concerned, their capex is doing extremely, extremely well, capex is capital uh, uh, expansion uh, and uh, uh, especially if you look at corporates, uh, if you look at the corporate loan growth, so he connects that with the capacity utilization and whenever the capital utilization is good, the credit growth also improves. So what is credit growth? That is the amount of money that the banks lend to its customers. Because if you look at the revenue model of every uh, banking system, they borrow from people at a smaller percentage and they lend at a slightly higher percentage and the difference between these two forms the profit of the bank and of course you have a lot of uh, expenses which is called as credit growth we will be talking about that and that these are some factors which uh, decide the profitability of the bank and typically they work on two percent and three percent but when the turnover goes up to billions of dollars even that small percentage makes a significant return to the banking sector which is uh, the revenue model of any bank. So typically whenever the capacity utilization increase for corporate that directly reflects in the uh, profitability of the bank. So that is where he talks about capacity utilization and approximately he talks of 70% 
capacity utilization and whenever corporates are doing well banks will also do well because when the bank does when the corporates do well they will go for expansion plans and they will apply for loans from the banks right so obviously they will take the loans from the bank but on condition they have to return back the money because if they don't give back the money then that is a non performing asset it used to be too high at one point of time and not just money not coming back to the banking system even if they have taken money from uh, its uh, the customers that is depositors and if they don't lend it to others that is also a non performing asset because if you have taken money at 6% from the market and if you don't lend it to others this 6% irrespective of whether you lend it to others or not you have to meet that payment obligation to the person from whom you have taken the money therefore if you have taken x amount of money from people you have to lend that to the others others will buy it only when their business is good that's where capacity utilization comes into picture and that's where capex whenever there is a capex for uh, capex in terms of private uh, parties government capex it's all good for the bank today their notebook is full guys it's 1.75 uh, trillion which is 1,75 lakh lakhs and that's not government capex he says 70% of that is private capex no. so what, there is a big demand from the private sector that is reflective of the strength of the indian economy and is very confident that the uh, economy of our country will go and grow and with that the banks will also get benefited and whenever you talk about uh, credit growth they want to keep it below 100 basis points bp kehte hain 100 matlab 100 basis point ka matlab 1% hai and along with that he says they have already achieved 60% and they will try to maintain the same range and achieve the target and as far as the net interest margins are concerned generally they don't divulge these margins but this time he has divulged it he is targeting 3.15 percentage net interest margins and along with that the company is into fund raising drive and recently they have taken at a very good price they have taken 6800 crores not very big amount and of course this fund raising they did that and they will go for tier 2 uh, uh, funds also and uh, along with that of course their basic savings uh, account their salary account and for traders they are coming up with lot of uh, schemes for uh, cash management services etc and not just that the government is focusing too much on capex sector infrastructure public spending and host of other things performance linked incentive which is pli very very important the spending on infrastructure whether it is road whether it is port whether it's airports and he also talked about renewable energy all these things will help banks a lot okay ji and he also mentioned one more thing ndfc which is called as non banking finance companies that is also a very important space that he has identified and they will continue to focus on these things right okay we have talked about all good things but certain warnings there is something called as nclt lot of cases are there you know the, they are all under there are lot of bad loans yes they have come down but still they have lot of uh, bad loans and sbi being one of the biggest bank in the country they have got lot of bad loans which are all stuck under nclt hundreds of cases are there some of those cases have been written up but don't see remember one thing write up doesn't mean they have excused the loans it only means that those entries have been taken out from the balance sheet for calculation purposes don't be under the impression that if some loan has been written off the guy is left scot free absolutely not the bank will go behind him till they extract the last naya paisa from that person till such time that guy will not be spared wherever he goes please understanding write off means it is not allowing that guy to go scot free the government will be like a sugarcane wala ganna juice they will extract the last drop of sugarcane right so banking sector is a very good sector it's a good please invest money especially the foreign institutional investors who have taken huge funds from our country approximately 3 trillion rupees 
3 trillion rupees they have taken back in the last 8 months. Now they will bring all that money back. Yesterday they came with 3000 crores, only one day, right? So today we've talked about State Bank of India. I will be bringing out videos on HDFC Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, ICICI Bank. All these banks are going to do extremely well. And even Yes Bank is slightly making some progress. I will try to make a video on that because a lot of people are asking me uh, to uh, put a video on Yes Bank also. They don't want State Bank of India small small bank. I will do that, but I need to do some homework, etc. After which I assure you I will do that. Subscribe to this video some of the words because I use a lot of economic words in my videos um, so uh, A lot of other things are covered. There are a lot of things people may not understand. So there are separate videos which are uploaded in the um, Dr. Sadashivam's Academy where I will be explaining those terminologies in detail but in these kind of videos I want to keep them short and crisp so I won't be getting into explanations of what is net interest margins, what is credit growth, what is credit growth etc etc growth drivers so you can use so therefore I request you all to subscribe to Dr. Sadashivam's Academy Press the notification bell whenever we come up with these kind of videos you will automatically get that notification and ours is the only channel where I am giving videos on all the three languages in Hindi, English and Tamil. I will be putting up the same video in English also sorry in Hindi also in Tamil also. I don't think there is any channel in the country there is no trainer in the country who will post videos on three languages ok guys. Invest money heavily. Foreign institutional investors are coming to our country to invest this money, and therefore, when they have that confidence, we also should confidence. Have that confidence, guys. Remember, nobody jumps into a swimming pool without learning swimming. Nobody will sit in the truck and start to drive the truck without knowing how to drive a heavy vehicle. Even if you know how to drive a car. Even though the principles are same, same steering, same accelerator, same <laughs> brake, same uh, clutch and same gear mechanism. Will you sit in a bus and drive? No. But unfortunately, especially as far as the stock market is concerned, people who have basic knowledge of percentages, addition and subtraction, they start investing in the stock market and they think they are experts going through one or two YouTube videos and some people they get into complex trades like options futures and options options call option put option they saw one normal video in Zeroda or some YouTube site and based on that understood something and started investing money people have lost lakhs and lakhs we are talking about State Bank of India it took Two years for it to go from 150 to 600, four times, right? It took two years, but generally for money to get four, become four times, it takes 15 years. In this case, we talked about two years and it's a special case we are talking about. Guys, let me tell you, in auctions, a premium of 10 rupees becomes a premium of 50 rupees, five times, in five minutes. Five times in five minutes. That is options. But on the flip side, you can lose five times too. Please remember that. When it multiplies five times, we are so happy. But it can become one fifth also at the same speed. Because the entire game of options and futures especially options is a zero sum game what you are gaining here somebody in some part of the country whose face you will never get to know is losing that amount that is zero sum activity so a lot of care needs to be deployed especially when you trade options I'm planning to start a training program on calls and options okay I will start doing and whenever I do that I will give this information to you so that you can learn it and just like you learn swimming and then get into water please learn this and then get into water yes especially options okay guys this is Dr. Sadashivam signing off till we meet again bye bye Jai.